Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I am going to be showing off another new game that I've been really playing around with and just realized I changed the language. Ooh, let's change that back. English, Japanese, English, Japanese. Ooh, it's so much fun. So obviously we're going to be playing a game called Operation Steel. This is a, an independently developed roguelite shoot-em-up. Or shmup for those of us who, you know, care about that sort of thing. Which includes me, so I'm not being down on it. Um, the other thing I should let you guys know about is that I am currently working on an OBS setup. Which means that my audio mixing might not be perfect. So let me know how this sounds as I... Uh, sorry, let me know how this sounds and yeah, I will fix it from there. For the time being, though, no, let's go ahead and get into this, because I want to show you guys this game. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, it's not 100% perfect by any means. The one thing this game is definitely lacking is some, is some story. Not that that's the worst thing in the world, mind you. I, what's the story behind most... Behind, wow, I was not even paying attention. Fortunately, you can do a quick restart from level one. See, that's something that I think is really nice, is that you can just bust out a restart and be like, wait, I took damage, I took damage, how? No, screw that. So you can wait until you've got that great start. But what makes it roguelite more than anything else is just that you, you're never going to be 100% sure what power-ups are coming where. I guess we're doing a Gatling run. I mean, I don't have to by any means, but... Now this is definitely a shmup of the bullet hell variety. Not the hardest bullet hell in the world, but I mean it doesn't need to be. Alright, bomb bot, credit. Just gonna take credits. And you'll see what credits do for you after the level. Okay, not gonna be able to get that. No, I'm not going to have enough money to buy my Pepsi! Excuse me, Mr. Owl. I do not need you to tell me how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center or Tootsie Pop. I just need you to explode and give me credits. thing that makes it roguelite is that you're never going to be sure what boss you're going to be coming up against in, at the end of the level. Cancer is one of the bosses that I typically don't do super well against, but I mean, hopefully we're not seeing game over at stage one here. That would just be pathetic. Uh, and that's why I dislike Cancer, because its claws are basically just gigantic area denial. Those of you who are experienced with shmups know that, vic that victory in one of these games isn't necessarily dependent on your movement speed, but rather how well you weave in and amongst the... Uh, how well you weave in and amongst the shot patterns. So it's more about shot pattern knowledge and... I mean, that's basically it. Alright, so let's get a repair, let's get an armor up. I'm going to upgrade Gatling, and I'm going to sell my base blaster. There we go. Alright, so, and after each level, kind of almost similar to Star Fox, you get your choice of where you want to go. I think in this case, I'm going to go to Catalan. Otherwise known as Cloudy Happy Time Planet. Yeah, 
because you're never going to be 100% sure what power-ups you're going to get, or if you even consider them power-ups when you do get them, it's always, it's good to know kind of how to use whatever weapon you come across. And understand what's going to synergize with, with what you have. But in general, in general, a little bit of armor is going to go a long way in here. Not, you're not going to be finding yourself going, man, I wish I didn't repair my armor so I could, so I would have a slightly better margin for error. And who needs that? Margin for error? What do you think I am, human? Um, uh, I think I'll take the saw. So what these, what these saws are, are essentially just defensive orbitals. Which might not seem like it's that useful in a shmup, or in a bullet hell shmup I should say, but sometimes just that little extra room for, that little extra room for error is exactly what you need. I made a stupid... I probably didn't need to slam my face into that. Alright, if I remember Taurus correctly, it starts the battle coming up from... No. I am thinking of a different boss. game over on level two if I'm not if I'm if I'm not being careful. That having been said, like most bullet hells, your bombs will just erase all the bullets that are on the screen, so if you're feeling pretty Wow, I was not ready for Taurus. Taurus ruined my face. You unlocked hard mode! I already did that though by beating the game. Okay, we're gonna restart because that was just that was just sad. I can do better than that. So normally while playing this game, I'm not talking and trying to record a video at the same time. But I am I am, I am and always have been kind of a sucker for schmucks, so. Okay, the mine passive is pretty nice. I can dig it. Kablam! Kablam! So now I'm very curious as to what happens when I upgrade the mines. Oh, they're so nice. Boom, 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 boom. Credits. Ooh, definitely take shield. Because that is going to mean that when your shield is active, you can basically just take a free hit. Like, it won't it won't deplete from your armor at all. It's just, you just lose your shield, and over time, your shield comes back. So it's a beautiful, beautiful power-up. This is looking like a pretty good run so far. I'm really digging these mines. One shmup that I used to play the crap out of was Death Smiles. <clears throat> and I know that both Death Smiles 1 and 2 are genius move there. They are available as a collection on the Switch. So, I don't know, I've been thinking about repurchasing that game, because I had both of them on the Xbox 360, but I've been feeling the desire to play Death Smiles again. And shmups in general, because, frankly, I've been wanting to get good at shmups again. See? 
It's all about how well you lead. Take some extra credits. All right, so we're definitely upgrading that mine. I'll be getting the one speed up that I even care about. All right, so I think. Yeah, we're going to make this a helix run. Alright. We're going to try Catalan again. And that is the helix laser. Now, when you when you upgrade that, you just get you just get more beams to add to the helix pack. <clears throat> and if you haven't figured it out by now, you attract the coins to you by just not shooting for a bit. In case you're wondering what the key is to dodging these complex patterns, what you generally want to do is you want to not focus on where you're shooting. You just want to focus on focus on your ship's location and just dodging the dodging the bullets. Because another thing that's true of most bullet hell shmups is that your player character, be it your ship, or your sorcerer, or your priestess, or whatever, will have a designated hitbox. Oh, option! We definitely want that, because that's going to essentially fire fire a sub a subversion of our of your currently equipped weapon. Basically, just enhancing your attack power all the, all the more. Dark Sage, isn't it a little mean to be shooting hot air balloons? I mean, is that really the most the most militarized of things out there? You know what? They threw things at me first. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not proof enough? These aren't tourists, damn it! Taurus again. Yeah. Alright, this time let's not suck against Taurus. Fortunately, all that did was take out the shield. So while the shield regenerates, we just have to be not terrible. You know, like that. pain. But you feel even more pain. Ha 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 ha. Alright, grab our repair there. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade Helix. money to afford to upgrade Helix one more time, mine one more time, and then I'll buy the Swarm item. Alright, so Furiosa or Gulagon? I wish I could see, like, the full-on map. Oh, I can save and quit in the middle of a run? I didn't know that. Oh, uh, you also see your seed. Oh my goodness. 
play that by downloading OBS and trying to record or run. I learned things. All right, tell you what, we're gonna go Furiosa. Level three, Furiosa. Yeah, see how many more, how many more Helix patterns we have going on with the with the upgrade. How can you dodge all that crap when you, I can barely see what's going on? And the answer is lots of practice. Remember, I used to play the crap out of Death Smiles, and one of my two of my favorite childhood games were The Guardian Legend and Dragon Spirit, which are both schmucks in and of themselves. Ugh. Yeah, this boss is really tricky to deal with. job at both limiting your space and covering the screen with crap. Like, that's one of those bosses where if you have a bunch of bombs and you're not feeling comfortable with your dodging, just use a bomb. And I'm trying to show this game off for you, but I'm sucking. Oh, we haven't been recording for that long. How about, how about we do one more run? This time, I use the same ship, but we're gonna go to Berber first. Berber, such a funny name for for anything really. Berber. Yep, these guys are worth quite a bit of money, so I tend to prioritize them over anything else. Honestly, that's because you're not supposed to use it against enemies. You're supposed to use it to dissipate incoming shots. And it's an item that recharges awfully quickly, too, so... You'll generally have it available when you think, when you think you've made a mistake. Come on. Yes, yeah, wander back into my shot pattern, you bitch. There we go. Corgi! I have to do, I have to have my flying space dog. He helps you out by just, by just leveling himself with enemies and just shoot. And he's invincible. So that's just, that's just more help for me. You know I have to have my good boy. Okay, Leo is one of the most annoying bosses because you have to wear down his shield before you can actually hit him.
because he does it like a sine wave pattern. It may, no, not sine wave pattern, but you get the idea. He does it like a part of it. Don't worry, me and my good boy are gonna are gonna take care of this demented chainsaw lion. Don't you mean buzzsaw lion? You know, shut up. Turbo credits. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna weapon up the blaster. It doesn't mean that's what I'm sticking with. Because what it does mean is that if I find something else that I like in the shop, I can just level that up. I didn't, but here's what I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna buy the rockets, because the rockets are great. Level up from Mr. Corgi. And I think I'm just gonna stick with that. Let's go to the Epsilon belt. See? Space Corgi, he doesn't even need to worry about he doesn't even need to worry about the lack of oxygen or the vacuum of space. He's a good Corgi. Near invincible Corgi. having trouble seeing what the rockets are doing they are essentially supplementing my shots by firing out good old good old rocket propelled grenades oh that was awful come on brain we can do better than that yeah like that um i'm gonna grab the weapon up any schmucks at all. Like, this is one of my favorite genres because of how I grew up, you know, with Guardian Legend and Dragon Spirit. Those were two of the games I really spent a lot of time on. Crisis is approaching. Alright, fish bitches. Let's do this. things I really like is that is that this this game this game's sprites are hand drawn. So you know that you know that a lot of love and effort has been put into something if you're willing to hand draw the sprites. How did I manage to dodge that? reason why I like shmups is that they get intense. Eh, I just recently did a shotgun run, so I don't want to do another one. Right, I'm going to grab the repair and the speed up. Well, what did you see over in Hangar 18? I told you not to ask! We picked up a weapon up for that, so I'm not too worried about that. All right. Hebrides or Iglonia? It doesn't really matter. Let's 
go to Wiglonia. Another thing I really like about this game and about schmucks in general is that they typically have really good soundtracks. This game is not an exception. I love this game's soundtrack. said it's all about the weed. You just gotta remember your five your five D's. One of them is not dumbass. No, it's we all you know the five D's. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Um let's get the orb. Basically orb just means orbiting laser. Just another passive that I can add on to my wall of garbage. Why you play schmucks is because you want to fire a wall of garbage. Aries. Boom. My wall of garbage is doing a lot of damage, let's be fair. Um, we'll take the repair bot. I keep forgetting that I have that flash, by the way. I'm hoping that by saying that, I remind myself of it and remember to use it. Alright, we've got a bunch of credits. Let's level, let's level up the primary weapon. Level up the rockets, level up the orb. And the goodest boy. Dark Sage goodest is not a word. And you got me there. Now what you just noticed is that there is a notification there that said that there is a map piece here. So upon beating in any given stage for the first time, you get what is known as a piece of a star map. Which, upon completing the star map, which I've discovered, by the way, is not necessary to get all of them to complete it, you get passage to the game's true final level, which is a, a mechanical world by the name of Planet X. Godzilla fans, don't go nuts on me. makes the serpent so difficult to deal with is just the, oh I should have grabbed the bomb and not the repair. I have the repair bomb so I can should, I can stand to buy some time. Uh -oh. Guys I'm in trouble. I took too much damage. 
I flew too close to the sun on wings of flatulence. here have some very difficult patterns to deal with. You know Dark Sage, you have that flash. goodness. Alright, Libra has been, has been smoked. Give me that repair. Yay, that's two achievements for me! After getting my ass kicked for the entire level. Alright, so let's grab the repair and the bomb. We're gonna level up the rockets. Probably better level up my primary weapon. Suwan, map piece detected. All right, let's go get it. Look out for the UFO. Oh, wow. Can't believe I got hit by that. By the way, in case you're wondering, UFO is my kind of goofy ass way of pronouncing of saying UFO. You know, when I'm trying to make jokes. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that, just I can see I can see there being a lot of confusion on that one. trying to balance a little bit of defense with my offense. Because, once again, margin for error is one of those things you want to be high in a game like this. This is a very mean-spirited and violent fairy, so I don't have many options. Also, that was fucking fast. Alright, give me the repairs. thinking there. Oh, it's Timuron. Okay. Timuron's got some of the strangest attack patterns. And I am a dummy.
obviously, because I didn't get an achievement. No, it's not the first time I've beaten that guy. Yeah, map piece S. Wow, I took a lot of damage in that level. All right, so we're gonna get ourselves another repair. All right, let's level up the good boy. Let's level up my rockets. And that's about all I can do. I mean, I guess I can buy another speed up. And here we are at Planet X, which looks a little bit like Sinistar, actually. Like, I somehow didn't put two and two together until just now. It's like, yeah, that's, it kind of looks like Sinistar. Time to take down Planet Spaceball. Ow. Owie. Alright, now we're doing a Death Star run. I believe the next thing that's going to show up is a skull on a propeller. Yes, I just keep forgetting about the flash. It's not that I think it won't be useful. It's that I keep forgetting about it. Look, it's the Mecha Reaper. Alright, one of these days I'll get him. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys one of the games that I've really been enjoying lately. And yeah, a little bit of practice makes perfect with this one. So very much let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. I'm curious to see if you guys are interested in seeing more more really like different genres from me, because I I know I tend to play like Wizard of Legend a lot, so sometimes a little break from the norm is nice so let me know what you guys think comment below and as per usual i will see you in the next one my name is dark sage walker and i will be seeing you